This is uh, Morten from Inkis TV. Again, I don't know how many times I've said it this week. Quite a lot because we did a lot of retakes. No, seriously, uh, this is the last day. It's the last thing we're going to do here from this wonderful printing United here in Las Vegas. Um, we are a little bit uh, early because we want to wrap up our experience from the show together with the president of Printing United, uh, Ford Bowers. And, you know, we're going to meet here just outside the H people. So why not have a short peek on what they have on display, even though that we have not spent so much time here. It's always exciting to see what HP offers. Just a few weeks ago, HP announced a very, very interesting machine, the HP Advantage T-Series 2200 that we see behind us here. The machine is, uh, I mean, HP calls it a, a game changer, and I think they are really true about this because they are making it way uh, less in, in foot size and the foot, so it can be in many more printing comes faster to set up, really high quality with the brilliant ink we also know from the T250 series. Um, we will see some print samples in this little report here, but just take a look at this wonderful machine here. Behind me you now see the HP Indigo 100K, an amazing machine and I can't tell you how many times I've seen this machine in action with all the different printing companies we have visited in many, many different countries. The very first 100K was installed by Banner Graphics in just outside Atlanta and Georgia and that was during the COVID. Uh, that in itself is of course an amazing story. But what we did, we actually asked the people that worked at uh, Banner Graphics to film from using them smartphones and sent us all the footage and we made a film that is really great, very engaging and show you some of the things you can do when you can travel. So this is an amazing machine that I mean, I think still is a, that is a game changer because that has uh, made its way into a lot of uh, different printing companies where you see the digital transformation going from offset to ink, uh, this is not inkjet, but to, to di digital print in a way that simply outperforms uh, some of the older presses in the market. Um, we will not uh, do much more from HP because we are going to see Fort Bowers in a second to wrap up the entire show. So a warm thank you here from the Inkish team. It's been really fun to be here. A lot of work and there's a lot of films and most of them are online now. Uh, the rest will be online very, very short time and definitely when you see this. And uh, for those who've seen it, we will actually wrap it up exactly the same way as we did it in 2016, 19 in Dallas. That was Drupal, right? <laughs> and I'm here with Fort Bowers. Fort, again. Thank you for coming. Congratulations. Yeah, my, my, well, thank you very much. Yeah. It's been a wonderful three days. And you know, it's funny because I also said congratulations to you last time yeah. because that was like the first uh, Printing United show. Yeah. And I, I, I remember that we were all like so, it was such a great, feeling right oh yeah it was very cathartic and you know everybody was coming together and it was just a, a super time yeah. to have a show like that so yeah it was good there this show i i, I it feels bigger it, it is bigger uh so there's there's uh there's more equipment on the so just to give you a, a a statistic we had about in dallas we had about three and a half million pounds of equipment pulled in this was over five million pounds of equipment here Whoa. so the amount of equipment plus more net square feet yeah. so so more booth space here uh, and, and just slightly more exhibitors. So, you know, not, not a ton because we, we're really missing the, the Chinese contingent, yeah, so, yeah, for example. Yeah, yeah. So, so overall, this was a bigger show uh, than Dallas was. And yeah. so, which is remarkable because the rest of the trade show industry has not done that well. And so we're beating the industry by 25, 30 points. Yeah, because I spoke to, uh, I always call him your, your, uh, your brother in crime, uh, Mark Supers, yes. because basically yeah. when I interviewed him before the show, uh, he referred to a meeting you had with a group of other yeah. exhibi ex 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 exhibition companies yeah. and said that they have seen dec declining numbers. Yeah. And you were like, whoa, uh, what's Yeah, we, going were, on? we were a little surprised that, yeah. that it was as grim for them yeah. uh, as it was positive for us. Yeah. So, Is yeah. It, when you come to meetings like this, do you then become a little nervous for what the trends will be? Um, I mean, now everything is over, but and it's good, but were you a little bit nervous? Well, I know or? there's been a lot of talk yeah. about the future of trade shows. Uh, well, including myself, uh, including yourself. <laughs> like, I was not, not pointing fingers, but <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, yes, yeah. but but at the end of the day, uh, this kind of puts that to bed, at yeah. least for the time being. Now, what it looks like ten years from now. 
how, how exhibitors will have to adjust the expense of these shows. I, I think what you're probably going to see is continued consolidation yeah. to a certain extent, yeah. which will continue to prop up yeah. whatever shows are around, this being the biggest one. Yeah. Uh, so, so I think you'll see that. But I don't know what 10 or 15 years down the road nobody, will be. Nobody knows. Yeah, anyway. and, yeah, and yeah, quite yeah. honestly, it's the next guy's problem. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, but it's yeah, funny yeah. because I yeah. think that uh, I said that to Mark as well, that, that sometimes I think that my criticism was actually misunderstood because I wanted it to be a conversation about how to innovate and make the, make the trade shows more valuable. And yeah. to, to, with all respect, I think you have made a lot of innovation into this show. Uh, you changed yeah. the, 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 the keynote speaker format. Yeah. Uh, you have... I don't know how you did it, but you have uh, convinced more vendors to bring gear to the to yep. the show floor, which is really really good. Right. Uh, I think that a lot of the things you have done here is uh, kind of reinforcing the the value of uh, having a trade show. It, it is. I mean, we've definitely we are definitely in experimental mode, and so we're trying all sorts of different things. And and you know, the, the the big question that still looms to a certain extent is what does digital delivery have to do, and how does how do you integrate that? And even at this meeting we had with at SEER with the, the Center for you know, Exhibition Industry Research, everybody's still struggling with that because everybody senses, well, there must be something there, there must be something there, but no one has figured out how to do it. Yep. And everybody at this point on the trade show side has pretty much said, there's no way to do it well yet. Nobody's come up with a platform or an idea to create the conversions yeah, that yeah. are required. Yeah. Lead generation is still weak. Yeah. Um, it's certainly not as expensive, yeah. right? So we know that. Yeah. But then the audiences aren't there. Yeah. You know, so the audiences can be good, yeah. but the audiences you're not going to get 28,000 people to, to come to your no, no. online trade show. Never, so uh, never, you know, never. not even over the course of a year. And and, and and yeah, that's true. But yeah. but I mean, as when I have been emphasizing the yeah. the, the equipment on the floor that yeah. you cannot have in a in a virtual world, right? So right. I mean, if e that is even augmented reality is not the same thing. So and this I'm going to I'm going to show my age a little bit. I still buy books. Now I have a Kindle. I don't know how old you are. I can tell you I'm 54 and I still buy books. Yeah. Well, there you go. Okay. Well, I've got you by about a half a dozen years, but you know, so half a dozen. Yeah, I turn 60 next month, but that's we we we, we don't we, we don't need to publish everything we say here today. But, we do. But uh, we so, do. Okay. Yeah, so, that's too yeah, late. Let the cat out of the bag. But yeah, so so but there I still think the tactile approach yeah. uh, and you know as we know books made a resurgence yeah. in the last couple of years. I mean so yeah, so but, so at um, any rate, yeah. But when you look at the show and you, I guess you have talked to a lot of exhibitors of different sizes and things like that, uh, yeah. what is the initial feedback from them? So, uh, I have not spoken to anyone yet who has said we did not have a great show. Most of the people I speak spoke to, I, I can't name names, but That's so yeah. So, so so somebody told me yesterday the first day of the show they had more sales and more leads the first day than any other show they've done for the entirety of any other show. So uh, and this is kind of the theme. So and what is what's really driving that, of course, is the concept of people crossing lanes, right? And so um, another anecdote in the apparel zone, they were doing tours on the first day, they had about 30 people come to the apparel zone for a tour to see how this is made and that is made and so on and so forth. And so when they started the tour, they asked, well, how many of you are currently apparel decorators? Three people raised their hands. So there 20, was 27, 27 potentials. 27 people are looking to get into apparel. How do I do it? What do I need to buy? And those are net new. So if you just go to an apparel show, those guys aren't going to be there. Precisely, because so, they, yeah, they come from they here. Co yeah, they yeah. come from here, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah, so yeah. it's that cross, it's the net new for the exhibitors yeah, yeah. is what is making this work. Now, will there be net new 10 years from now? Don't Never. know. Yeah. Don't Was know. It, uh, has it been difficult to convince uh, exhibitors to come? Uh, no. Okay. I mean, so 2019 was a bit of a slog to, to convince enough people to come. Because it was like the first it, time it, it, a transformation from and, SGIA and can to... You, can, yeah, can you really pull in the audiences? Yeah, 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 can yeah, you yeah. really get the people there? Yeah, so yeah. there were some brave ones who came in, yeah, you know, yeah. in, in a big way. Yeah. Um, this year, a lot less resistance to that. But we, there are still some areas that we feel like we can push further into. For example, we want more blanks producers here for the apparel guys. We, we want to see more packaging equipment on the yeah. floor, that kind of thing. So yeah, those, because there's a few yeah. holes when you have that under one roof approach to things. Yeah. But, but I think you do pretty well. And I think, it's, uh, I think it's also quite good organized from the sense that you know, some vendors have some kind of crossover from the North Hall to the Central Hall, right. but pretty much you have been able to actually get them organized in a relatively logic way. Right? Yeah, yeah. Th this was... 
almost better than Dallas because it forces a choice. Yeah. In Dallas, it was one yeah, long haul. Yeah, yeah. So, and and it, you had to walk a lot to get from there. Uh, yeah, and yeah. in Atlanta, it'll be two halls, so we'll, we'll be able to kind of recreate this environment. Now, when we get to Orlando the next year, uh, well, we'll be back in Vegas and then Orlando. Orlando is one big square. Okay. So that'll be interesting to see if this kind of neighborhood concept uh, holds. You say Orlando is the same place that uh, I think there was a Graph Expo some years ago, same uh, location or? Uh, I don't remember? know. I don't oh, okay. know where they were. I just I was like a one but it's, big. It's the, it, yeah, it's yeah. the Orange County Convention. Oh, okay, okay, yes. that was the one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because that was actually a good convention center, I think. As they're as I they're great to work with. Yeah, yeah okay, we love those guys. Yeah. So. Um, I take that all of you need a little rest. I also know that you probably already uh, head started on the next one, but I mean, do you have time now on a more personal level to get a little rest and you know just think about what you have experienced here or? Uh, yeah, I, I've got until Monday morning. Uh, to, oh, okay, no, that's no, plenty yeah, of time. Yeah, plenty I mean, of time. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I mean, certainly I'll be decompressing whether I want to or not yeah. or over the next week or yeah, so, yeah. Uh, but a lot of it will be just reflecting because, yeah. you know, we'll, we will immediately start doing a post-mortem on this show. What, yeah. could, what could we really do better? Yeah. Uh, and I think that that will be, that will be really uh, helpful to do while it's fresh. But yeah. you know, we started pre-sales for next year six weeks ago. Yeah. So, and you know, we're, we're already, I would say about, uh, certainly over two thirds sold for next year. I can tell you, uh, we yeah. made an interview this morning and I will not mention the name because you can look it up yourself. Yeah. But uh, the, the company used to exhibit way smaller and then they have a bigger, a quite big booth here, and yep. they said next year we will even have something even bigger. Yeah. Okay. So, so the size, so the size, apparently also makes it more, you know, like uh, uh, um, better for them to have equipment because you have the, the the space for actually having people on booth while you have equipment there, right? Yeah, it, it is. I mean, and the the main thing is, you know, we we get some people who don't really bring a lot of their equipment that they could bring, yeah, yeah. but it's equipment that brings people to the show. It's it's it is, substrates, yeah. it you know, it's solutions that bring them to the show. So. So you can have a presence and you know, we don't require you to bring anything, but if you want leads and if you want to make sales, you got to bring something. It's, that's what drives That's what drives booth traffic. It's to your own advantage simply. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. To, 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 yeah. So you can get 2,000 square feet, but if you don't put anything in it, what's the point, really? You know, so. I can tell you, I saw once a website where it was a very, very expensive designer that did it, yeah. and there was one black dot on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know uh, if yeah. that works. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think so. But. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations and thank, thank you for you so your much. support also to Appreciate our English. It. Good to thank see you again. We'll see, see you soon. Definitely. Okay. Bye. -bye. Bye.